Hello, this is Nikki from Nikki's Crafting Corner. Welcome to my channel. Um, today, as you can see, I want to play with fabric. I want to create some fabric samplers. So um, what you will need is a lot of fabric. <clears throat> I chose um, a kind of neutral color palette. Um, I tried to choose fabric with different textile and um, some see-through fabric and shiny and not shiny and um, yeah this is what I want to use um, for a start and then perhaps I want to do some more colored fabric samplers as well but um, this is what I want to use first. So you need a lot of fabric and I want to use my ruler and I want to take um, a page of my garden book because um, this paper is quite sturdy and um, this is perfect to use as a base for my samplers. So. Let me rip off one page. I think this will go for several samplers. And what you, what else um, you need is um, some scissors. I have my scalloped uh, fabric scissors here and um, uh, rig rack scissors and my uh, fabric scissors. So this is all you need. And of course your sewing machine if you want to sew with your machine. You could do this by hand as well but um, I want to do it quickly with my machine so let me just um, tear some of this paper to size I don't want it too wide so I think this is perfect and I don't need all of this strip. This is too long. I think I can tear it off here. So perhaps I can have another one out of this strip. Yeah, that's perfect. I could um, have this piece that will show later on in the uh, right direction, but um, I don't care at the moment. I just um, need a base so I don't care if this um, uh, the text is in the wrong in the right or in the wrong direction so now I need some fabric um, I really want to use some fabric from an old blouse uh, I want to try to use my rick rick scissors they do not always work perfect oh this is this works very well today sometimes it's hard to cut fabric with these scissors I don't know why perhaps it's too flimsy or something I don't know <clears throat> okay I just need a strip I think this is too long, so let me see. I will sew it in like this, so it will hang down. Okay, I think that's okay. Good, number one, I can use this for the other one <clears throat> uh, and I want to use something from this piece this also is an old blouse 
I really like the green in here, so I think I have to use these scissors for that. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't want to cut it. I think I will use it as it is so it will hang over the edge, but as it is a bit crumply, that's okay for me. So this is number two. And I want to layer it a little bit. <clears throat> okay, what else do I have? I have some, this is a kind of uh, slip. It's a very shiny fabric. Very slippery. And this is, that's why I had to use a pin for this strip of fabric. Okay. Um, I want to have another base color. This gray linen is really pretty. I want to use this scissors, the scissor again. Okay. I think I want to have this one in the back. <clears throat> in the back. I'm sorry, I'm recovering from a flu and it was really bad and long. And <clears throat> I'm still not completely healthy, but it's okay. Um, this also is a very shiny piece, but interesting because of all the frays here. So let me cut a piece of this. Okay. I think that's a good start. And this is a cotton fabric I really like. And I just want to have a little piece of that. Okay. I really want to have this one in the front because the pattern is so pretty. So <clears throat> now I have to lay everything down. And then if everything is down, I will close this flap and then I will sew um, at the very top with my sewing machine. Okay. <clears throat> I will put a little bit of glue down so the fabric will stay in place until everything is uh, down with um, the sewing. Okay, like this. And then I think I want to have this one in between. Just a little bit of glue. Okay. This one here. This one here. And this one right in the middle. Okay, I like that.
I will take a clip to hold this down in place and then I want to do another one before I put out my sewing machine. Okay. Mm. Oh, this is a kind of blue. Um, I've got three colors here, a darker blue, a very light blue and some gray. Um, I think I want to cut a strip of this one too. I could even fold it like this. Oh, that's interesting too. But I think I do, do not want to do that. So I will put this down like this. Okay, I have made a lot of these little um, booklets, fabric samplers. They are still attached to each other. <clears throat> and um, I have tried to make different themed booklets. So this is a more neutral colored one. This is a little bit um, on the pink and shiny side. Um, and then I tried to do some uh, kind of nautical uh, colored and patterned um, booklets. In this year I want to make um, some nautical themed journals and these little booklets are perfect <clears throat> to go in them. And um, I want to pick a little booklet that um, fits in the journal I'm working on at the moment so let me pick one that is kind of pinkish I think this one is perfect for the journal I'm working in it is oh this is this is perfect um, it is for someone special I have got a little friend called Johanna. She, her birthday is on the same day as, as mine and um, she is a lot more younger than me. She is 10 years old now and um, she's a huge fan of mine and <clears throat> I already 
gave her some journals and she really loves to journal and um, she loves my journals I gave her and um, she creates junk journals herself so, so she is at the beginning of doing so and um, we learn from each other and we exchange uh, material and she really loves um, when I give her some old book pages and stuff and I want to give her this little fabric sampler in the journal she will get for her birthday in 2023 so <clears throat> I want to make sure that the film this video comes out after her birthday so I can show you the journal I'm working on. It is a three signature um, journal. It's um, an Amazon packaging bag that I sewed a cover on. Um, this is a vintage bed sheet, a children's bed sheet, and I really like, like um, the pattern stitching here. I made a pocket in the front and a pocket in the back. And as you can see, I've already printed out some freebies that will go into this journal. I am um, in signature number two at the moment. <clears throat> and um, in this signature, I want to add this little fabric sampler book. So let me see where I can put it. I just want to find uh, a page I think this is a good page um, what you can do with these little um, samplers you could glue this down completely onto a page you could uh, make this flap a little bit longer and then you have something that goes on top of the page and you have the surprise of the fabric on the other side um, you could glue this down and make it into a pocket from the side or from the top um, I think what I want to do is I want to glue this down completely and I want to glue this down opposite to this pretty picture on the on the other side on the other page so yeah, I will just glue this down completely. will go down here and um, yeah what you can do with these little fabric uh, samples um, you could leave them as it is and um, just flip through them and um, look at the pretty patterns um, so these are some modern patterns this is a vintage bed sheet um, this is uh, kind of old but it's from a Swedish furniture company um, this is old as well and um, yeah I think it's a lot of fun and um, you could use this to make clusters so you just um, cut off a little piece or rip off a little piece and then you could make some clusters um, in this journal or use this for another journal um, yeah, whatever you like to do. So this is down on the page and I'm happy with it. And um, let me just show some other pieces that I sewed. So this is my big pile of, um, of these little booklets. Um, I tried to use some old and some newer fabrics. So you will see some 
very old things in here. This is a kind of old linen and cotton, um, a kind of, it looks like embroidery stitch, but it's printed on this fabric, but it's quite old. And um, this piece too, it's very old. This is a vintage bed sheet. This is the edge of a tablecloth. And this was a tablecloth as well. And um, here are more vintage um, bed sheet pieces. This one's really pretty with the flowers. It's kind of mint colored. This is um, an apple pattern from the 70s. I had um, one of these bed sheets when I was a kid. This also is um, a children's bed sheet. This is a very old vintage bed sheet. It's from the 50s. This is from the same bed sheet as is um, this striped one. And this is some uh, a piece of a very old bed sheet as well. So there are some treasures in this. And um, I left some pieces with um, uh, the buttonholes, all the buttons on. So I thought this is a lot of fun too. So here you can see how many times this has been washed. So it's really, really old. Yeah, so that's what I did. Um, this is a, a more um, nautica themed piece, again with a buttonhole here. And um, this is a mixture of vintage and modern pieces, but I thought they would go very well together in a more um, nature themed or flower themed um, journal. This is an old um, skirt piece from my girls. This is a vintage bed sheet. This is a modern piece. This is modern as well. So is this. And um, this is really old, and this one too. So yeah, these are all the pieces. Some are bigger, some are smaller. Here again a, a button. And this is a piece. Um, I made a dress for myself with this bed sheet as well to, um, to wear under a dress. So yeah, a lot of fun. Some memories connected to some pieces and yeah I really went to town and created a lot of these little booklets okay so this is my first fabric idea for this year and um, I hope um, you like this video and um, I invite you to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and um, I see you in the next. Bye.